you can sustain yourself doing what you absolutely love. One way or another. And there are so many outlets that we can do that. Exactly. Like, you can find Thank you for being closer to me. You're going to need to move your mic. I can already tell. I was going to do this, but I'm Let me just help you out, Brittany, because (laughs) is this cutting off my head too much? I think I need more headroom. Oh, it is. Because you need to honor your height. You need to honor yourself. Honor. You're so much taller than me. I was like, (laughs) in our brand images. Oh, my God. Oh, did, do you think you did? Yeah, All right, I give up. I so. I'm literally giving I'm up. I'm sure I slouched. It's very on brand for me to slouch. Well, you know, <laughs> That's the one thing that Pilates has helped me with is my posture. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be you're gonna be blowing bubbles in the middle of the episode. That's rude. And all we're gonna hear is is it fun <laughs> or no? Was this like <laughs> disaster candy vibes? I'm breaking my nose. Okay, off, but though. your saliva is loud, probably. Oh, gross. <laughs> well, if it's loud, just like let me know. Okay. Well, I won't be able to hear. I'll be updated. <laughs> okay, if I'm gross, I need someone has to tell me. Might as well be you. I don't want to tell you. I don't want her. What Our episode are we on? To be repulsed by me. Quattro. Mm-hmm. Quattro. Quattro. Align. You know, I took five years of Spanish and. I got to Quattro. Paid off. (laughs) Paid off. Clearly. Hey, welcome to Astro Candy. We're so excited to have you guys today. Um, We've got a good show plan. I'm super, super pumped. But let's check in with our higher selves first. This is Vibe Check. Brittany, how's it going? The vibe is good. See, I get (laughs) it. Sorry. Okay. (laughs) All right. See, I try to have a little fun and I can't do it because it's disgusting. Well, blow us a bubble. How about that? Like, let's see a bubble. Or do you need like a minute to loosen it up? Mm -hmm. You do like when you, Mm. oh. Mm. If you saw our pictures that we did for our promo shoot, which by the way, listen, Brittany and I are so aligned. We're so aligned that we literally were just like, yeah, let's like you bring some outfits. I'll bring some outfits. We'll compare them and see. Did we not bring... Coordinating outfits. Coordinating outfits for every single one. Check it out on our Instagram at Astro Candy Podcast. Are we cleansing the space? Every episode, honey. Okay. We okay. Got, we got to get it fresh in here. All right. I love that for us. Just give it to me. Mm-hmm. Pow. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a lot happening. Mm-hmm. Brittany's chewing her gum. She's saging. <laughs> Poor well, Raven. You have to blow a bubble Poor first. Raven. Like you can't. She's, you're, you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Okay. I think you, it's, it's out of lighter cleanse, fluid. It's cleanse enough. Yeah. Here's what I'll do. I'll have some champagne. She needs to have a drink. Yeah. Unfortunately, I need she's this. stuck with me, so she's like, I, I've driven her to drinking. <laughs> and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but... Um, there are so many other things that drove me there first. Yeah. <laughs> True. It ain't you. True. <laughs> Trust me. How dare I? How dare I? <laughs> okay, but like, let's, let's hear how you're doing. What's your vibe like right now, RN? Oh, bye. Oh, was bye, Gum. It was so good hanging with you. Mm-hmm. My vibe is so good, you guys. Um, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited good. to talk about I love that. the things we have planned. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> guys, I'm having too much fun. We're just a mess. If it looks like we have it together, we absolutely don't. Never. We're but trash. Not even once. <laughs> completely ridiculous. Yeah. Completely trash. Um, <laughs> but no, the vibe is good. I'm excited to be here, ready to talk. I need, you know, I need this little spiritual reset. Yeah. Which is what we get here. It's always the best part of my week. Same. Just like to Same. align, which is what we're going to be talking about today, alignment. Um, as far as me goes. Uh, How does I me have, go? Me, me is good. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pee. <laughs> But I'm not going to. I'm going to hold it for this 30-minute episode. Wow. Um, That's devotion, you guys. She loves you. I really just have a bladder of steel. I think it's bad. I kind of feel bad for now. I know. It's not good. Should um, go? But as far as my vibe otherwise, I'm good. I've got champagne in me, which is always just... I mean, can you go wrong with a glass of champagne? The bubbles can uplift, I think. They uplift. If you hear me burping, you know why. Wow. Whoa, guys. And you thought that chewing gum was bad. Yeah. Get um, ready. I'll try not to burp in your ear. Uh, also, <laughs> just like a quick note, because I'm just so freaking pleased with this. Can we take a second to admire mm. this rodeo rhinestone? That's house. really cute, you guys. It's so cute. Get up. Like, I love it. It's so cute. You know those people who are like, oh, I just it's threw fun. this together. I really did just throw it together. Wait, and I really? feel like I did. 
Yes, I've never paired these two together. I was just like, what are the two most obnoxious pieces in my closet that I can match? And I think it works. I love so, it. Where'd you get the top? Zara. So cute. I love Zara. They have like really good, fun, trendy things. And I have no idea where this skirt is from. It's definitely very old. But um, shout out to Tira, who she was my stylist in Minneapolis. Um, because I don't know how to style myself. She picked out this skirt. Well, she did great. I mean, she did a good is, job. This is a cute outfit. Yeah. I love it. So, oh, were you going to cheers me? I look like you're I going can. for the cheers. I can. Let's do yes. that. Because I'm always going to be up right Drink here. with us, please. Really? <laughs> if you're not, what are you doing, guys? Come on. Maybe working or like living life. Or maybe driving. Uh, yeah. Don't sorry. do that. Sorry. Disclaimer. But um, by the way, if you're listening, you can always check us out on YouTube mm-hmm. at Astro Candy Podcast. And if you're watching, you can always listen on the go um, on Astro Candy Podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, today, we're going to talk about something that's so important. Um, I'm a big believer in manifestation. It's not even like I believe it. It's just like, you know what they say? Like you have to see it to believe it. I've seen it. And so therefore it is real. So she it believes is it. Part of, <laughs> it is part of my everyday life. Like yeah. manifestation is such a, a prominent part of life that I think that people, a lot of them don't know about. And we'll obviously dive into that in another episode. But what's so important about manifesting is being aligned mm-hmm to receive those manifestations. So if you know about manifesting, which is basically getting what you want. It's getting what you want. Receiving what it is you're asking the universe for. Maybe living it's- Living your best life. Living your best life. Maybe it's a, a job promotion. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's um, a trip. Like you're just like, I would really like an inexpensive trip to Hawaii. Guess what? I've manifested that before. She really did. I have. I remember you told me about that. I know. It was the craziest thing. What you put out into the universe, it listens to you and it wants to give you everything you want, but Mm -hmm. you have got to be fully aligned with what you want. A lot of people miss this. Are you fully aligned right now? I mean, I'm drunk. (laughs) So that's it. Yes. I mean, no. I'm tipsy. I feel very like I feel like I'm in I mean, a very like in lucid life. state. Like oh. overall, like how you <laughs> um, <laughs> in this moment. No, you know, I mean, like, I'll be totally honest. Overall. I think that there are some things that are blocking my manifestation. And okay. the biggest thing when you're not aligned and you're not receiving what you want mm-hmm. is you really have to look at what you're afraid of. Oh my gosh. That yeah. is that's the root cause of why you're not getting what you want. So for example, say, and I actually think that this is a blanket statement across everybody. I think everybody wants to make more money. I think, Who doesn't? Yeah, I think everybody, I think at the core, we're all the same. We're all the like, same. For real, we, we really are. We would all love to be multimillionaires. No, so do let's our, just say, ourselves. let's say you're like, I want to make bank. Okay. But you're just not. Like you're not yeah. uh, getting, maybe you're a freelancer. You're not getting the gigs. Maybe mm-hmm. you're not getting the promotion at work, whatever it is. So then you have to think like, what inside of me is holding me back? What fear do I have about making bank? Here's a good example. Mm-hmm. Maybe deep down you think, well, if I am a multimillionaire, I'm going to be paying so much more in taxes. So, so much in taxes. Like, point. is it even worth it? Am I even going to be, or maybe it's, if I have a lot of money, am I going to be able to manage it? Mm -hmm. Like I won't be able to manage mass amounts of money. So those fears stifle you from getting what you want. And, and they're very oftentimes subconscious. Totally. Well, and when I was thinking about like this topic, I started thinking like, okay, is it energy or is it like our psychology? Like, is it our, is it our subconscious? So when you just said that, like, um, you might think, well, the taxes or whatever. So for me, that might be like an energetic thing. Like you're having an impact on the energy around you. I kind of think, so I think it's some of that, but I really think it's like for yourself, like if you have resistance to something, like you're going to do little things to keep you from getting that one thing. That's true too. Because self-sabotage. Yeah. Because I feel like at the core, it's kind of cool. It's like our being loves ourselves our brain is on such a it's just so great like loves us so much that like if we really don't want it mm-hmm. deep down like we're not gonna get it and like one way or another yes. our brain is gonna help mm-hmm. us make sure we don't ever get it so I yeah. think it's energy but I feel like the energy kind of feeds off of our thoughts which create our actions and then we kind of inform the energy well, around us and our thoughts are energy 
So yeah, it kind of yeah, plays yeah. into that way as well. It's all kind of like it goes together. It all goes together. And um, one thing I wanted to talk about, though, which I wrote this down. Um, Guys, she wrote it down. I did because it, it really it, it really resonated with me. Something You can think all day, every day in your conscious, in your conscious like state of being, like, mm-hmm. I want this. Mm-hmm. But like do you like do you you know what i mean like it's one thing we've all been there i I mean we've all been there you think you want something but you actually don't and it's it's those it's it's really your subconscious that dictates like what you really your subconscious knows what you actually do or don't want and so therefore Mm -hmm. based on your subconscious you get that so i could be (gasps) saying that was so good hold on thank you that was so what did i say (laughs) it was so good and like okay so that kind of made me think like, so, you know, when like you're kind of confused because Mm -hmm. you want something, but then your subconscious is like pushing you away from it because deep down you really don't want it because maybe it's like an insecurity. Mm -hmm. So from childhood, like it could be anything self worth Yeah. Anything. So it gets very confusing. Yes. So like the universe can't read your energy. Exactly. Your own self can't even read your energy. You're acting erratic. You're like one day you're saying yes. The other you're saying no. And like, I feel like that's what alignment is. It's like mm-hmm. calibrating all of the parts, like mind, body, soul, You're on the same page, going in the same direction, direction, sorry. And then, <laughs> and then that is how you get what you really, really want. Yes. And just so we're clear, like Whoa. when it comes to manifestation, your the universe does not unfortunately pay attention to your conscious thoughts. Yeah, like that'd be great. I'd be so rich right now. Oh, I would be filthy (laughs) multimillionaire. It actually pays attention to your subconscious thoughts and beliefs. And that's where we do the work. And that's where you do the work. work. But Mm -hmm. a lot of the times, like, I don't know if we can say this, but you're cock blocking yourself and you don't even realize it. I think we can say it. And that is true. Yes. And um, for example, (laughs) another just example, um, maybe not as related to profession and money, but you want a relationship. You tell, you tell yourself, I want to be in a relationship, a committed, serious mm-hmm. relationship, but it's just not coming to you. Um, think about those subconscious beliefs that you have. Maybe you think that like, if you get into a relationship, you'll lose your independence. Mm-hmm. You'll lose your freedom. Mm-hmm. You'll lose your friends because you've seen in other, in other instances of your life's in, of your life, your friends get into relationships and you never hear from them again. Like these are all subconscious beliefs that are uh, stopping you from getting that long-term committed, serious relationship. The thing that you think you want, but actually deep down inside, you don't you're actually want it. it. Yeah. yeah, you're pushing it away. Every step of the way you're pushing it. So this is huh. this episode is all I'm about right aligning right. yourself to the things that you want. This is not a manifestation episode, meaning we're not going to break down a manifestation and how to get what you want, but this is essentially showing you tactics and ways to align yourself with the things that you do want and to make it easier, especially mm-hmm. as it pertains to getting rid of those limited, limiting subconscious beliefs. So you can get what you really, really want. Really, really, what really you want. actually want in your heart of hearts. I'm going to warn you now, though. Like, Uh-oh. you're going to have to do the work. And it's it's heavy lifting. It's heavy. Oh, Let's man. not sugar. I mean, well, this is Astro Candy, guys. So take take from what you will. But this is more heavy lifting. I mean, if yeah. you really want what you want in life, like. Yeah. Mm. You have to really sift through, like, the subconscious beliefs. And you have to wake yourself up to them because they're sleeping. They're you know what I mean? Like, yep. you don't even. We didn't even realize that they're there. But when most you get it, like how happy? Oh, so how much Astro It's candy worth it, I guess, is what we're saying. Are you snacking on that? It's worth it. So, uh, <laughs> let's talk about aligning and alignment. And yeah, what does alignment mean? It means becoming a vibrational match to what you want. Ooh. And there are a few things. I mean, more than a few things that you can do. And I think that it would be most effective to just talk about what we do to align ourselves with the things that we want. So Mm -hmm. Brittany, what are some things that you like to do? Well, when it comes to alignment time, no, I feel (laughs) I'm kidding. I feel like when you are needing to think about like alignment and like calibrating yourself, it's because like things are happening in your life that you're just like, what is going on? Like, I'm not happy either. Like I'm not happy with my job, this relationship. Mm -hmm. Like usually it's like confusion. Right. And that's kind of like what sparks this deeper quest for like, getting more in touch with ourselves. And I think it's because we're not in alignment naturally. Like maybe when we're kids, but then as you kind of like get older, you just take in all of this outside information. Mm -hmm. And so you can become like very detached from your soul purpose. 
If you're on Instagram True. all day, you're looking at other people's oh, lives. Yeah. Instagram is the culprit. It's the it is the it'll get you king out of, alignment of they have this and I don't and like yeah. Oh my God, comparison, thief of joy. I did not make that up, but it's true. And by the way, the people that you're looking at who have what you think you want probably don't even have that thing. Like mm. it's, it's all just illusions. Okay, so I think alignment is like taking away the illusion. Mm. Any illusion, you're stripping it away. And for me, that's from listening to my feelings, Scorpio moon, you know, letting myself be emo. Yeah. Listening to music, journaling. Music is a good one. Music is- You feel what comes up. Listen, if you want to be a, vibra a vibrational match to the thing that you want, uh, I'm going to guess that whatever it is you want is going to bring you immense amount of joy. Mm -hmm. Well, what's the quickest way to change your mood from wah, 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 mm. to happiness? Music for me. Mm -hmm. Someone in the radio industry and just anybody- ever on this planet can identify with music and Raven will you make like a happiness playlist for us like I can a, yeah will, will you make I an mean, alignment playlist? I have so many playlists oh, listen guys, I have I, a playlist I have excited. a bad bitch bitch playlist I, I have a manifesting money playlist oh I have a love playlist it's really just about look manifesting and aligning you want to be feeling whatever it is that you actually want even though you don't have it, you want to still feel that you do have it. So for example, you want to get on that frequency. Mm -hmm. So for example, when I was going through a tough time in my relationship, like whenever it was, I decided instead of sulking and just being so sad and like just indulging in all things pathetic, <laughs> basically. Which, hey, who hasn't done that? I decided. Love it. That's <laughs> that. my hobby. <laughs> I decided to make a playlist of love songs, happy love songs Raven. that would really just get me in like, you know, the receiving mood of yeah. receiving love and joy. So music is a good one. Brittany makes a great point. Another thing that you can do is journaling. This is mine. I journal like a motherfucker. Like when do you journal? Like in the morning and I journal at night. Okay. At night is when I sort of am sifting through the thoughts of the day, how I felt during the day, why and then what's funny is you'll just start writing and you'll uncover things. You'll find answers to questions that mm -hmm. you didn't even know you had. Mm -hmm. And you'll really just I mean you're really doing the inner work um if you just like write. And so journaling for me has really been a key to also just unpacking the things that I didn't even know I was dealing with or resistant to or whatever it is. Uh, so that's, that's my for sure go-to music journaling. Uh, a few other things, vision boards. Uh, did you make a vision board in 2020, January 1, 2020? Brittany? I did not. You I didn't? did not. Well. But I will say this. Mm. <laughs> In Tell me more. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Cliffhanger. <laughs> in 2016 or 17, sorry. I don't remember. But I did make a vision board. The last one I made, all of it came true. It was kind of weird. And then I didn't make another one because I was kind of just like living the moment of like the last vision board. And I've just been kind of writing on that one. Okay. Honestly, it was a good vision board. Like, that works. And um, yeah, but I feel like it's probably about time. Yeah, it's I mean, time. they're an excellent did tool. You? I did. I made a vision Tell board. So it's so, f I don't want to, I don't even know if it's funny, but did I say this in the last episode or was no. I just saying this to you? Just to me. Probably. Okay, so I made a vision board 20, at the beginning of 2020. And the biggest thing on my vision board was a house. Why division boards, why, like I'm literally... <laughs> I need fucking it's fine. food. Hopefully you guys are where, where we're at. And also there's something not, in my eye. Not get there. <laughs> get there. Where's the tequila? No. Mm, if only. I wanted to manifest a house. That's the one thing I wanted to do in 2020, 2020 was mm -hmm. buy a home. And so on my vision board, I put images of homes that I would like to see mine look like, you know, maybe a kitchen or the bathroom or whatever it is. That's what the point of a vision board is. It's mm -hmm. if, especially if you're a visual person, it will help you put a picture to the things that you want. And then when you find it, you'll know. Yes. And I think like, okay, all of us, we are sure we're higher minded and all that, right? We do our best. Mm -hmm. 
But at the end of the day, like, we live life, and, like, we want to be happy, and, like, we want, I don't know, like, life can be exhausting, so I feel like if you have a vision board and you know exactly what it is that you want and you see it, mm-hmm. or visual, and you you're reminded, it, yeah. like, you're going to be motivated to, like, send that email, make mm-hmm. that phone call, whatever. Like, that's my, what, yes. That helps me so much, I can't even talk And it you. almost, like, plants a seed. What'd you say? What'd you say? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't edit. No. There are no edits guys, here. Oh, no. Well, now you know the real me. I'm a weirdo. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Is that what you did? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Well, I didn't even hear you because I'm low-key tipsy. <laughs> you guys, we got you drunk. Look, we need We're aligned with joy a right champagne now. rosé sponsor. We need some joy. Is that what this is? Is that the new word for wine? Joy? I mean, I don't want to promote alcoholism, but yes, it's joy in a cup, in a glass. We're having a really good time. Um, <laughs> so vision boards. <laughs> what were you saying about that? Vision boards are so helpful because they yeah. remind you. Okay, wait, I remember what I was saying. Of what you want. <laughs> plant the seed in your mind. Okay, and it, literally it's like once you plant that seed, mm-hmm. you kind of forget about it, right? You, we forget about seeds. And sometimes little things the, will help you water yet. it. You know what I mean? For example, on my vision board, I put Palm Springs. Didn't even li- like Hello, put it on my Palm vision Springs. board, totally forgot about it. And then my friend was like, hey, it'd be so fun if you came to California and we went to Palm Springs. And Stop I was like, it. wait a second. I think that was my vision board. Stop it. Yeah. You know, like little things like that. Um, other oh things. My goodness. I don't do this. I need to. Okay. I don't do it meditation okay I do that one okay tell me about it but I take a very casual approach okay like, right some people like an astro candy approach thank you thank you mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's who I really <laughs> am guys just thank you for seeing me yeah um so some people do like 20 minutes five minutes whatever I don't do that what I do is I'll put on like if you go on YouTube you can like look up oh, guided ones well I don't even do that but yes you totally can and those are good but there are some, like, um, you can take meditation music for abundance or for love or creativity or whatever. You type it in and you'll get, like, a list of different songs or playlists that have, like, um, a certain amount of, it's, like, hurt. A circuit, a certain frequency. It's a frequency. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And so I listen to that. Like, if I really am stressed out or whatever, I'll put that on for creativity. Okay. I'll light a candle. Because candle gazing is a thing that I, mm-hmm. that is like, it's really easy. You can just kind of sit there, look at the flame, close your eyes and breathe. And yes. your body will just calm down. Like, yeah, I like to do very minimal meditation because my brain is always going. I'm a Virgo. I can't help it. It's an affliction. What can I do? But like, it works. It's so easy. So you can just like put on some good music that gets you into your frequency. Put on a candle. Even if it's like five seconds, like it doesn't matter your Mm -hmm. nervous system will respond. I mean, honestly, we can go, we could really go in depth to this, but it's only like a 30 minute episode. No, Other ones include affirmations, inspirational Mm -hmm. books, which like I said, we'll tackle because this is- And on our Instagram, you can find- You can find, yes. We link it all. We'll link it all for you. Um, I really want to get to this. Uh, It's my favorite part of the show. It's called Spirit Guide. (gasps) And this is where- you write in and you let us know whatever predicament it is that you're going through, uh, if you need advice, whatever it is. And it's basically ask, answer, but what's, who you're asking is the tarot deck uh, and Brittany will give you the answer. So you let's- guys, We're tapping into a higher vibe right now. Yes, higher vibes, spirit guide. <laughs> um, Raven and Brittany, before the coronavirus pandemic, I was on a fast track at my job. I started in June of 2019 and by December- I had been promoted twice. It's awesome. Wow, good for you. Currently, I'm a sales manager. Well, now that things have slowed down for everyone, I feel like I'm stalling out. How can I get ahead in my career during a time like this? Leah, which is such a great question um, because yeah, things do feel stagnant in all aspects of life, but that doesn't mean that you want to be stagnant. You know, you want to grow in your career and uh, see where it takes you. So Let's see what uh, cards. What? Why are you giving me the look? I we pulled the Wheel of Fortune last episode. We too. did. Yes, that's a great card. You guys, you guys have a lot of fortune. Okay, we're just gonna say it's just it keeps coming up. So, okay, for Leah. So we have the Ten of Wands reversed. Now, if you look at this guy, he's carrying all these wands. It's a heavy burden. He's exhausted. So, spirit 
the tarot. Mm. I'm trying to say that just she's putting a lot of pressure. You're putting a lot of pressure on yourself, Leah, and you are amazing. And what you've already accomplished is so just beyond. I mean, yeah. it's you're accomplishing your goals. You're knocking it out. And this is a weird time for everybody, right? So for people who are like ambitious, wheel of fortune energy, it's hard not to um, want to keep moving and just like kind of always find that next that next thing that you want next next. I think we're like I can that totally too. relate to we're that. So like that. I mean, yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> we're, we're disgusting, right? So <laughs> no, I'm kidding. but like so, <laughs> basically, spirit's just saying you've done a great job. Like acknowledge yourself and where you like mm-hmm. where you are now how far you've come like, yes pat yourself on the back girl. yeah you're exactly it. there's always gonna be more fortune for you the wheel always continues to turn so don't think that just mm-hmm. because it's not happening now it's not going to happen it's gonna happen but um three of wands take a moment look how he's just kind of like resting gazing yellow is um a color that corresponds to the solar plexus chakra which is like our personal power abundance joy so like just kind of gaze start yeah. maybe do a vision board mm-hmm. i think this is a vision board card if we were going to make one up this would be the one yeah so make a vision board dream let yourself um think about what's next for you but enjoy because this is you're exactly where you're supposed to be and so. also leah i found that if you ever want to speed up any trajectory which Ooh. like i know that's not you know, no, you know, life is meant to just be lived in the moment. But if you want to speed things up, (laughs) gratitude, yes, gratitude will get you where you want to go. So just like take a second and just be thankful for Mm -hmm. all that you've accomplished and where you are. And, uh, soon enough, you'll get that next opportunity. We're proud of you. Like way to, way to keep yeah, going. Yeah, way to grind. Cause uh, I don't know about you, Brittany, but I've just been like watching TV Eating junk I've food. A bit. I'll say that. I'll say that. I'm gonna leave it. Leave it there for you guys. Uh, okay. Um, Want to leave you guys with this? Our modern day mantra, which is "You attract what you're ready for." This is a key in what we discussed earlier with alignment. You know, you think you want something, but do you actually? So you attract what you truly are in your core, aligned for. So that's your cue to sort of get in touch with your subconscious and see, you know, what fears, limiting beliefs are holding you back and what you truly really do want. And Mm -hmm. that's how you get there. Yeah. I would say take a loving look at yourself. And I say loving because we can be self-critical and like that'll get you out of alignment really quickly. So I would say take a loving look. Yeah. Get real with yourself, be your own best friend. And like, yeah. My thingy messed up. Oh. I don't know where it is. So we don't I know think where that's the end of the show. Oh, but here we go. Found oh. it. Ha. <laughs> like, this has given me such grief. <laughs> this freaking thing. It was the big snooze. But, um, okay, next week, super excited about. This oh, is going to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is Brittany's wheelhouse. I'm still playing with the cards. Which is fitting because we're going to dive into tarot. What is tarot? Can it really tell your future and help you make decisions Mm. and how Mm. to use a tarot deck for a basic reading? So Brittany is going to be our uh, spirit guide for a lack of a better word. I'm going to be the spirit guide. She's going to let us know what. So if you guys want to do it with us, this would be a great time to get your deck. You can get them on Amazon. Oh you yeah. You can get them like anywhere. Get your tarot and deck and then you can like play. We're play gonna tell you like episode. a little exclusive. Oh. Okay. Brittany and I have something super fun in the works. We are going to <laughs> we always have something fun. But we're going to make our own Astro Candy tarot deck that we would love so to exciting. give to you. So just stay tuned for that. It's like a little ways away, but we got you until but then. Let's which, start practicing now together. You Brittany know? has like the very. I'm pulling cards this for is Raven. The OG deck, by the way. Oh, what is my? It's so that when we get off the air, I can like do her. Oh reading. my god, I'm so excited! So we're gonna go. I'm doing um, her reading off. The- <laughs> I need to see what my cards say. Uh, but yeah, Astro Candy every Tuesday. Tune in either wherever you get podcasts or on uh, where are we? YouTube. YouTube. Mm-hmm. Astro Candy podcast. Just like search us. You'll find us. Our Instagram. All the things and you'll find us there. If you ever Mm. need any advice, you know, you want to consult spirit. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? We can be your channel. We'll We'll try. We'll do our best. We'll try. And you can email us astrocandypodcast at gmail.com. Bye. Oh, damn it. Oh, there. That That was the recording. Yours always goes longer. I know. Ah.